Now, full disclosure, it's been a minute since I've done anything related to condos and real estate. But guess what? Old Bjorn just helped a buyer close on a condominium and it occurred to me that this would make a very, very good video. It occurred to me that many of you potential clients and wise seekers of real estate knowledge have most certainly heard the term condo, but maybe don't exactly know what a condo is. Before I got into the business of real estate, I can safely say that I really didn't completely understand this unique and interesting type of property. So let's jump in and figure out a bit more about condos together. What do you say? Cue the music. A condo which is short for condominium, is a type of residential property that is part of a larger building or community of buildings. Unlike a traditional single family home where the homeowner owns both the dwelling and the land it sits on, in a condominium, the homeowner owns the individual unit or apartment type setup within the building. However, land, common areas, hallways, elevators, amenities like gyms and pools, they're all owned collectively by all the unit owners in the condominium association. Condos come in various shapes and sizes, ranging from high-rise apartment buildings to townhouse style developments. I've even seen tiny home communities that are condos. They're popular amongst individuals who prefer the convenience of shared amenities and maintenance without the responsibility of full property ownership and upkeep. Condos can offer a sense of community and may be more affordable and accessible than owning a residential home, especially in a high population area where some of those prices are frankly getting quite high. Condo ownership typically involves paying monthly fees to the condominium association, which is responsible for managing and maintaining the common areas and amenities. These fees contribute to the upkeep of property, repairs, and shared services provided by the association. What these fees cover? Well, that's going to depend upon the condo, the association, and the amenity and services offered. Let's talk a little bit about those amenities. Condos often come with shared amenities, such as, not always, but often, <laughs> such as swimming pools, fitness center, recreation area, shared grounds, and security features. These amenities provide residents with convenience and a level of luxury that may be cost prohibitive for individual homeowners. Condo owners typically have less maintenance responsibility compared to traditional residential homeowners. A condominium association is responsible for the exterior maintenance and landscaping and common area upkeep. This can be very appealing, especially to individuals who prefer a hands-off approach to property maintenance. In some cases, condos foster a sense of community and shared living. Residents often have opportunities to socialize with neighbors through organized events or just the communal spaces. This can lead to a supportive and connected living environment, especially for those who enjoy social interactions. Real estate, you've always heard it, is about three things, location, location, and location. Condos are often located close to amenities such as shopping centers, public transportation, entertainment venues, and this can provide residents with convenient access to those variety of services and activities. Condos may offer a more affordable housing option compared to single family homes in the same area. Lower upfront costs such as, well, smaller down payments, and lower property taxes, this can make condo ownership more accessible to first time home buyers who might have limited financial resources. Many condominium complexes offer great security features such as gated entry, security doors, surveillance cameras, or even in some cases on-site personnel. 
Overall, condo ownership can provide a combination of convenience, affordability, and community living that appeals to a wide range of homeowners. However, it's essential to carefully consider the specific advantages and drawbacks of condo living before making a purchase. And that's a conversation that we will have when we sit down and kind of hash out the details of what's going to be best for you. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, please help out by giving me the old thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button so I can see the little bell go off and lose my mind. If you or someone you know would like more information about a condo or have experiences to share, use the comments below to do just that. And we can get a little conversation going. I'll be back next week with more great information. So until then, be kind to one another. Thank you.